Hi there, it's me again, Laura Candlelover. Gonna do another little group of uh, Goose Creek candles here for you. Do a review, get them online before Black Friday. So you guys can have an idea what these smell like to me. So we have homemade eggnog, which of course, these are 14.5 ounce three wick soy blends, white wax. And we have gingerbread milkshake, cookie butter snowball, blankets and snowflakes, and letters to Santa. So <clears throat> right now, let's do homemade eggnog. I love the labels. I like the little gold stars on that one. Um, let's see. So many. Homemade eggnog is vanilla, creamy coconut, nutmeg, spiced rum, and caramel. Okay, so as everyone has said, I'm sure you've seen online, this does not actually smell like eggnog, but it does smell good. It is a sweet, creamy, caramely cookie or some kind of bakery type scent. Um, it smells good. I like it. it. had a pretty good throw. I think the throw was probably like a seven and a half, at least a seven and a half. Um, doesn't smell like eggnog, which I was a little bit bummed because I love eggnog uh, candles, but it is what it is, uh, but it does smell good. Then we have gingerbread milkshake, which is an interesting little label there. Um, I like gingerbread milkshake. Um, some people didn't like it as much. I, I like it as a gingerbread-y type sweet uh, candle. Br gingerbread milkshake is gingerbread cookie, caramel swirl, maple, and vanilla bean. Yeah, I mean, I get all the notes that it's listing. Um, and it does remind me of gingerbread. Now, is it like a gingerbread cookie, like straight up in your face gingerbread candle? No, it, that's not the scent. The scent is gingerbread, but like creamy, blended mix. <clears throat> and so uh, in that aspect, I do like it. And I think the throw was probably about a seven and a half, eight. Oh, cookie butter snowballs. Okay, I really like this one. It does have like that nutmeggy type... Um, eggnog types notes in it it's not straight up eggnog but it does have eggnog in the notes and i get some eggnog in that which i was really glad because homemade eggnog it wasn't eggnog this one at least has some eggnog in it <laughs> so let's see homemade eggnog is sorry cookie butter snowball is warm vanilla cookie cinnamon gingerbread and eggnog so you get gingerbread in this one too and some eggnog it's got a good blend, good combo. It's not a powerhouse. It's about a seven and a half or so for me so far. And they can get a little bit stronger as they're going. I haven't melted or burned it yet. Just melted these with my candle lamp. Um, but I probably will burn these too. Um, but so far it was about a seven and a half or so. I mean, I could smell it and it smelled good. Um, it wasn't an eight, maybe not quite an eight, but it was up there. I mean, it was good and I like it. And it's just got that... <clears throat> creamy sweet um notes that you would think would come from a cookie you know type candle but then also you have the notes of uh like <clears throat> it like i said as gingerbread it's not a really gingery bread or spiced candle but you get a little hint of that and that eggnog at the end which is really nice so anyway i like that one that's just my opinion i like it Okay, so we have Blankets and Snowflakes. Blankets and Snowflakes is Cozy Blankets, Falling Snow, Warm Spice, and Sparkling Vanilla. Um, this one, I was, this was one of the ones I was waiting for. This is one of the reasons I it took so long to, to do this review after I got my box open and did the, the cold unboxing and everything. Um, it was because this one and Letters to Santa were both cracked. So I had to wait kind of to do these. I get smooth, soft cashmere type um notes from this one cozy cold, cold, cold cozy blanket falling snow warm spice i don't it's not real spicy little vanilla maybe i get blanket i get like that falling snow that's what it smells like to me it's soft almost cashmere and um lightly sweet just a cozy scent and it smells good and i think the throw was probably about maybe well, it wasn't a super strong one. seven seven and a half maybe at times i smelled it stronger than other times maybe it was just hitting a little bit of the you know oils in there um 
It wasn't a powerhouse though, but I could smell it. It was, but it was pretty soft. <clears throat> then we have letters to Santa, which I really like this one. So this one, cookie dough, almond milk, oatmeal, and vanilla cream. Definitely a sweeter type candle. Not overly powerful in your face. Sweet, but it's got that cookie dough, almond milk, which I love the almond notes, oatmeal, vanilla cream. So yeah, I mean, it's a sweeter, creamy, um, just a cozy cookie dough type uh, scent. And I love the labels of, of those two, of course. But yeah, I mean, it, it once again, it's not super strong. It might be a little bit stronger than Blake's Snowflakes. I'd say that one's at least a seven and a half, maybe an eight. But at least a seven and a half. None of these, I, I didn't feel like any of these were like powerhouses. And I think a lot of people know that a lot of the Goose Creek ones coming out of the Three Wicks are just not as strong. Some of them are just not as strong as they could be or should be and have been in the past. So, But I still like these. I'm glad I got them. Decent sale. Um, and if the Black Friday or Candle Day sales are like super duper good, there's definitely a couple of these I would get again. Especially... Um, I think I did order a second cookie, but cookie butter snowball, or I was contemplating it. I think I was just thinking about it, but I definitely would get another cookie butter snowball and probably cinnamon cypress, um, caramel chestnuts if they came back on website. Cause those ones are good too. So anyway, that's my two cents on these. Thanks for watching. Hopefully it's helpful to you. Please like, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I have more reviews coming, um, of some homeworks. I have some Kringle and I have some Candleberry possibly too. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great night. We'll see you guys again real soon. And if I don't see you again, have a happy Thanksgiving. Bye-bye.